Luminosity will find themselves in the Grand Finals against Na'Vi. Luminosity just too much to handle for Team Liquid, but they've done their country proud and they took Luminosity to the limit on both maps. We are set for a very strong final tomorrow between the two top teams, two of the best teams in the world. But really, Liquid did a great job to come this far to uh, raise the flag for North America and take it to this point in the tournament. Yeah, I'm very impressed by Liquid in this series. The only problem they have is they just couldn't take that last round. I think if they just would have taken a timeout earlier, really discussed, okay, we have a lot of rounds to play with, we can actually take big risks, and if we just keep taking big risks, risks it's going to work out at least one time. But I don't know, they, they just didn't have an answer to that double or auto, -sni auto sniper setup by Luminosity. And we've got to hand it to Luminosity for some massive plays in very, very critical moments when the pressure was really on. The first one that we saw of, of such was from Cold with the crazy 4K on Mirage, on the B Apartments. Something I'm not sure I will see for again for a very, very long time. But that sent Luminosity into this crazy comeback when they, when they I mean, I, if he didn't get that double with the AWP there, it's very possible they don't even win that round, or at least their economy is put into a horrible state and it should give Liquid a very good chance to close. But Luminosity, they just could not be put down in this series. So big credit to them. It is definitely a championship quality to keep the spirits high and maintain the composure. Well, the leader, the talisman for Luminosity is on the stage with Red Eye for an interview. Well, mission accomplished. Grand final for Luminosity Gaming. It must sound absolutely amazing for you. Can you put into words what it means to you, your team and Brazilian Counter-Strike? Well, to be honest, it's like uh, accomplishing a dream for us. Uh, we have been fighting so much in the last years to get here. And tomorrow we're going to have the chance to bring the biggest t title in CSGO ever. Okay, well congratulations on that. Let's talk a little bit about the match because it's an incredible game. Uh, you came back from the brink of map point again and again and again in game one. And then again in map two, 15-6 down to come back and two lots of overtime. Uh, how does that work? Uh, it looks like it's taking a while to start playing well. Uh, <laughs> happened both maps and I think uh, the, more, the more we're playing, I think we're getting resilience. I think this thing is evolving, it's getting more experience, and you have to believe. You have to go full heart, and you have to believe every, uh, every time on our team. Uh, we have excellent players, and we can manage to come back. And I think this was the greatest series I have ever won. Okay, that's, that's brave words. I, I do want to talk about Liquid because fabulous game from them as well. They played very well in both games and yet fall short. You know what that's like when you've played so well, and yet it doesn't quite work out. Have you got any words for them? Well, I think it must feel terrible for them uh, because of the way they lost. But they played very well. I think they done more than what I expected from their team on this tournament. They props to them. They played very well, and they're a very strong team. And I think the North American scene at all is evolving a lot. I uh, have been looking for the past results, and more and more teams getting better and close to the top level. I'm glad that Team Liquid did a great show, such as CLG on this tournament. Uh, it's good for our scene. Thank you so much. Okay. Great words, thank you very much. Fallen, the grand final is confirmed. This man is going to the grand final. Na'Vi versus Luminosity, and it's tomorrow. We've still got a little bit more, though. Stay tuned.